Hello, I'm Dr. Brett DePoister with the Aquarium Vet, and we've created Aquarium School to share both our aquatic veterinary knowledge and our practical experience to help you care for your fish in your home aquarium. The most important aspect of a successful aquarium is good water quality. We're gonna cover the nitrogen cycle in detail in our free video lessons because understanding the nitrogen cycle is essential to establish a healthy aquarium. The lessons are presented in an easy to understand way to teach you the science behind maintaining a healthy aquarium. Before we jump into the nitrogen cycle lessons, I wanted to go over a generalized summary of fish health in the aquarium, the basic concepts of fish disease, and why water quality is so important when it comes to caring for our fish. Disease is defined as a pathological condition of an organ or system of a host, which in our case is a fish. Disease is a very generalized term and can be caused by a pathogen such as the protozoan parasite that causes white spot disease or by non-infectious causes such as ammonia toxicity, both of which are unfortunately a common problem when starting up a new aquarium. When fish become sick, it's generally the result of the overlap between the host, a pathogen, and the environment, which is represented by the three circles of disease. Let's look at each one of these circles individually. The first circle is the host, represented here by a goldfish, but the same principle applies for any organism in our aquarium, including corals and shrimp, for example. There are several factors that might predispose the individual fish to developing disease, such as their genetics, their immune system, and their response to stress. The next circle, which plays a role in disease, is the pathogen. And the main pathogen group that affects our fish include parasites, bacteria, viruses, and fungal infections. In our aquariums, most pathogens are what we refer to as secondary pathogens. That means in order to actually cause disease, something has to go wrong with our host or in the environment, allowing that pathogen to take hold or take advantage of the fish and actually cause disease. We're gonna cover the most common fish pathogens in future lessons. However, understanding and maintaining the third circle significantly reduces the likelihood of these pathogens becoming an issue in the first place. So let's talk about that third circle, and that's the environment, particularly poor water quality, which is responsible for up to 90% of the health problems that we see in aquariums. As a starting point in any aquarium, the key to success, regardless of the size of the aquarium, is establishing the nitrogen cycle, which is responsible for dealing with the toxic ammonia waste, the nitrites and the nitrates, which will have a direct physical impact on the fish and predispose them to physiological and metabolic disease. In addition to these impacts and associated stress, the fish will now become more susceptible to those secondary pathogens. We have covered the nitrogen cycle in great detail in our free lessons, which will hopefully help you provide a stable environment for your fish. Now, as mentioned, poor water quality can have a direct physical impact on the fish, and one such example results in severe changes in the gills. In healthy gills, the normal anatomy of the secondary lamellae is composed of tissue that's only a few cell layers thick, which allows oxygen to easily diffuse across the cell membranes. But when the fish are exposed to poor water quality, the gill's response is to become much thicker in a term called hyperplasia. And it can even progress to the point where the gills become fused together. And as a result, the gills role in oxygen exchange, osmotic balance, and waste excretion is severely impacted and in extreme cases can even result in the death of the fish. Chronic exposure to poor water quality will also activate the stress response in fish, and this results in an overactive HPI axis, or hypothalamus pituitary interrenal cell axis, and this produces cortisol. Cortisol is the ultimate stress response hormone that's responsible for the flight or flight response. When fish are constantly exposed to poor water quality, these cortisol levels will remain elevated and one of the serious impacts will result in immunosuppression, which will further predispose them to secondary bacterial infections or parasite infections. There are plenty of other water quality parameters that will influence the health of our fish, including temperature, pH, water hardness and alkalinity, oxygen levels, light intensity, photo period, noise, vibration, and even incompatible tape mates that might be aggressive. 
All of these topics are going to be covered in future lessons, but the take-home message here is that if aquariums are well-maintained, water quality is regularly tested, and corrected if something goes wrong, this will eliminate 90% of the health problems that you occur in your aquarium, and you will have a population of very healthy fish.